Hello, Josh McAvoy here once again, and in this video I'll be going over Mac spoofing, a quick and useful technique to remain anonymous on and off of networks. Before we get spoofing, first we have to learn about the MAC address. A media access control address is a unique identifier assigned to every network interface, both Ethernet and wireless. It's made up of 12 hexadecimal digits, and every computer and phone has its very own unique address. Think of it as a type of digital fingerprint. This is used to allocate an IP address to your computer when you join a network. The 24 bits on the left tell you about the manufacturer. For example, C86F1D. This is an example of one of Apple's MAC addresses. If I bring up the terminal and show you the interface configuration, you can see my two MAC addresses for both Ethernet and wireless. Devices openly broadcast this wireless MAC address. This brings up a huge security concern. It is not difficult, nor is it uncommon, to use your MAC address to track you. Shopping malls do it all the time to track your shopping habits. You don't even have to be on their network. Just by having your wireless turned on, they can track how often you shop there, which stores you shop in, and which stores you make a purchase in. When connecting to unsecure networks, it is a good idea to spoof your MAC address to cover your tracks and remain anonymous. Once again, bring up your terminal in Kali Linux. We're going to be using a program called MacChanger. To show your current MAC address of your interface, use TAC-S. To spoof your Mac to a random address, use TAC-R. And to set it back to the original address, use TAC-P. TAC-M can also be used to set a Mac of your choosing if the network uses Mac filtering. To start off, disable your wireless card. Then use MacChanger to generate a random address for WLAN 0. Once you have your new Mac address, bring the interface back up so you can use it. As you can see, WLAN 0 now has a spoofed MAC address. Do the same steps again, but use TACP to set it back to the permanent address. When placing your interface on monitor mode to crack router passwords, it's a smart idea to randomize your MAC address on the monitor interface so you can remain anonymous to networks you are cracking. This is a must if MAC filtering is being used on the router, as only computers with whitelisted MAC addresses will be able to connect. Thanks again, and have a good day.